What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Fix This House. On this episode, I'm going to be teaching you how to install gutters around your house. Now this is a very easy project. Um, difficulty level is not that hard. Um, I'll leave all the materials and toolings that I've used on the link down below so you can click on them if you need the tools or where I found this material. Um, I'm going to be working on vinyl uh, gutters. You can find this on your local store, your local hardware store. Um, this I found at Lowe's. If you find this video helpful, make sure you hit that like button and press that subscribe button so you can always be in tune with what's going on with my projects around the house. So before I even start putting on the gutters, I just installed new sidings on my house. So what I haven't even painted it yet. So I'm going to start painting the top portion where the gutter is going to be covering it so I don't end up I'm having uh, trouble later on trying to get in there between the gutter and my siding so I'm gonna make it easier for myself and I'm gonna go and start painting the top side first so that we can easily install the gutter and we don't have to go back later on and try to squeeze a paintbrush between there so that we can get these painted. So I'm gonna make it easier for myself and do this ahead of time before I even install the gutter so once again guys don't mind the unfinished paint after we install these gutters i am going to fully paint this and show you how i paint all the sidings with a special tool that i'll be using the gutter material that i'll be using today are vinyl gutters as you can tell um, i have two downspouts i have a couple of feet of the gutters right there downspout channels right there 90 degree angles joint connectors hanger pieces end caps elbows some hardware that you're going to be using to attach to the hangers and also the reason why i chose the vinyl versus the tin um, gutters um, it doesn't really matter which one you choose or not but i chose this material because it's a lot easier to connect and i believe it looks a lot cleaner let me know in the comment section below which ones you prefer and why the tools that you'll need for this project are not that many um, first you need a hacksaw a sharpie box knife some tin snips um, power drill leveler caulking the caulking that I'll be using today is the quad now this is made for exterior all season formula got a square right here and I also got a tape measure. The first measurement that we measured was around 186 inches. The piece that I got from Lowe's comes standard in 10 feet sticks. So we're going to be attaching another piece of it later and I'll show you how to join two pieces together. But at the meantime, we're going to cap off one of the ends. You can start off on the 90 degree uh, bend, but it's totally up to you. On this case, I want to start off by capping one of the ends. So attaching the end cap to the vinyl gutter is very, very easy. One of the great features of having the end cap on this one is that it already comes with this foam liner at the ends that helps make it have a good seal. Once you put it on, I don't fully trust this though. So what I'm going to do for added protection, I'm going to add a uh, caulking all around the inside area so that we can make sure that there's no leaks that's going to happen. To attach it, all you got to do is put it right to the contour just like that so this part is totally optional it's totally up to you I believe that when you put the caulking it should in be enough to hold the end piece on but just to make sure I'm gonna be adding these self tapping screws on each end right here very easy to do um, all you got to do is get your, your drill attach the piece put the screw right on the very top not on the bottom area, just to make sure there's no leaks. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other end. Just like that. I'm gonna apply caulking on the inside of the cap. So I'm just applying a bead on the inside. guys wear gloves when you do this. I'm going to run my finger all the way around, just evenly spread it on the inside so it's, I can make sure that the caulking has penetrated deep between the cracks. 
just like that. Now it doesn't have to look beautiful because this is gonna be hidden anyways. After you've attached your end piece, the next thing that you wanna do is you wanna put on the hangers. Now these hangers are very cheap. I got these at Lowe's with the other material and all the other pieces for the gutter. Now before you even attach your downspout attachment, you want to at least install these first because these, these hangers don't just clip onto them on the outside. To install these, you will have to go to the very open end of this piece which is on the very end right there and slide these right along the gutter. Now to space them out, um, depending on where you live, it's around 18 to 20 inches spaces between each hanger. So let me show you how to easily slide these on to the gutter. Here I already have one piece on, but to put this on, super easy. What you're going to do is you're going to feed the gutter right through the channels on each side. Now this flat portion will be going on the outside of the gutter. So you just slide it in right there. This hanger just slides in right through those channels just like that. I highly suggest that you put your hangers on first after you put the end cap because if you put your downspout attachment later on it's going to be really hard to get this on there without going through each end and sliding this through the channels. I think it's possible but it's going to be very difficult and it's not going to be as smooth and easy as sliding these hangers in right there. So like what I said every 18 to 20 inches per hanger but on this side I'm going to add an extra hanger right here. Um, there's nothing wrong with adding an extra hanger for added support um, because this is kind of coming close to where my downspout is. So here's another close-up look on how I attach the downspout. Very easy. So the downspout attachment, you just hook it up to the back. Make sure that the flat goes with the flat. Attach it like that and it just easily snaps on just like that. And then you can move it and adjust it to wherever you, your downspout is positioned. Super easy guys. There's nothing wrong with going with the metal gutters but again, like what I said, I went with the vinyl gutters is because it's so easy and all the attachments just fit perfectly. You don't need to make um, cuts as much as you would with the metal gutters. Temporarily in putting this up so that I can measure and move this about to where my downspout will meet up to that downspout hole down below. I'm gonna measure from the top all the way to the bottom, take the measurement and we'll cut off the length of the tube. So the downspout tubing I measured 98 inches from the top of that downspout funnel all the way to the tube down below. So I always want to add a couple of inches. You want to have extra rather than being short. 98. I'll mark it right there. My speed square and draw my line all the way around this tube and then I'm going to use my hacksaw to cut it off. As you can see right there, I got it all lengthed up. I used the leveler so to make sure that this downspout is nice and leveled. Made my mark. You can secure it with this hanger and then you can bolt it down. I marked out where that downspout section is going to slide right through so that it's properly aligned to my downspout tubing. Now you can have two pieces on each end to connect this downspout um, funnel but what I did was I just slid it onto this whole piece so that it'll be a lot more sturdier and so I put some set screws on this and then I'm gonna put some caulking around here to make sure that there's no leaks and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut a hole right here so that all the water will just drain right through this funnel so there you have it I've installed the T or the downspout funnel to the downspout tubing. Now the rule of thumb is for every 10 foot of gutter, you're gonna drop down 
half an inch. You can draw a chalk line from end to end and draw your slope like that. But in this case, I'm just going to use my leveler and make sure that this thing is on a downward slope. Just like that. See the bubble? It's on an angle. The length that I'm covering here is not that long. So, yeah, but if you have something way longer, make sure that for every 10 foot of gutter, you do one half inch slope. Coming to a corner right there, so I'm gonna do is fabricate a corner piece. And we'll and I'll show you how to attach the connector piece onto that end right there. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna connect this 90 degree bend to the straight piece. To connect it, you're gonna use one of these joiners. Separate the piece like this. Then we're gonna slide this half to the to the straight piece and half to the 90. Then you're gonna take your 90 degree piece and just slide it right over. Just like that then you're gonna take the second piece and overlap it between the seams on the outside part just like that easy that rubber padding strip on each side that should be sufficient enough to prevent any leakage but if you don't feel confident you can always add that caulking on the edge on the inside no need to add it on the outside this is how exactly how you're going to connect the straight piece from straight piece to straight piece it's the same concept remaining piece we're going to insert the hanger pieces where the joint's going to connect, I'm going to add an extra hanger piece just for added support. Now, after that, you're going to take your joiner piece again. Just like that. Now, let's connect this end to the other end. And we'll close it off with the outside piece connector. You have the two joints connected right there on the inside. Now we're going to place this outside joint cap right above it to lock it in place. Easy. Now screw on the hanger pieces and we should be good. And that meets the end right there. So there you have it friends, uh, don't mind the paint, I'm going to continue painting down. painted the top portion first so that I don't get, you know, it's not hard for me to paint later on the back portion with the paintbrush. But what I got left is to screw that hanger down. But the same concept for that end right there, you're going to use the same joint connector like this. And then continue on with the straight right there. But overall, pretty straightforward all straight leading down to that downspout looking from down here those joiner pieces does not look so obvious but it does look clean and it also looks clean where the downspout goes so as you can see working with vinyl gutters is a very easy DIY project you can do at home, especially if you're a beginner. Um, if you found this video helpful, please press that like button down below and please press that subscribe button down below as well so you can always be in tune on what's going on with my future house projects and easy DIYs you can easily do at home. Thank you so much. You guys have a good day.